Hello and welcome to the third episode of Top 10 Knits, covering my top 10 knitting patterns from those released in autumn 2021. So what's been happening since the last episode? Well, I made a good start on projects from the last episode, including the Manzil Mitts by Kavita Raman. You can just about see the pattern there. And a half. And I started swatching for Summer Folk by Annie Lupton. And you can just about see that fabulous geometric flower shape there. I carried on with Babels by Jennifer Beale. It's looking a bit bigger now. It's that fabulous bird's eye lace pattern there. And this episode has given me even more whips to add to my list. So huge thank you to the designers as ever for letting me use their photos without which I would not have a channel. Um, and don't forget that I've created subtitles and transcripts for this episode and there are timestamps in the description below. If you just click show more then you can flick between the designs. And I hope you're as inspired watching this as I have been making it. In no particular order, here are this episode's top 10 knits. This is the Intertwined Shawl by Jessica of Snickerdoodle Knits. The feel of autumn emanates from Jessica's beautiful textural shawl and I love the warm tonal shades she's chosen for this. It looks so squishy and toasty and it's nice to see a shawl where the texture just sings. The theme of the shawl intertwined is friendship. Jessica writes, I want to focus more on what's beautiful about the friendships I have and to be thankful for them. With worsted weight yarn and squishy textures, the intertwined shawl has all of the cosy fall and winter vibes. Knit it in your favourite colours and you just might not take it off until spring. With simple repeats and easy to read your knitting textures, it's the perfect knit for a slow day where you want something interesting with just a touch of challenge that isn't too complicated. This is a great project for an advanced beginner. The shawl is worked top down and flat, with a main section of smocking stitch and a simple two colour brioche for the border. I haven't quite mastered brioche and have yet to try smocking stitch, but that's okay because Jessica has included video tutorials for both in her tech edited pattern and is available for pattern support. The yarn is washed at weight and Jessica's sample uses 6 and 7 fibres Rocky Mountain Tarki, which is non superwash from Colorado in America. Worsted weight is less common in the UK and is between a DK and an Aran weight. You could probably substitute an Aran to get the correct tension if you can't find worsted weight. The shawl comes out at 149cm or 58.5 inches wide and 77cm or 30.5 inches deep. It costs around $8 which is around £6. This shawl looks so cosy and perfect for moving into the cooler months and I was delighted that she agreed to let me share this with you. If you'd like to see more about the intertwined shawl, Jessica has a YouTube episode all about her design on her channel. I'll add a link to this in the show notes below. The next pattern is the Fog Line Mitts by Brienne Moody. I was really drawn to the stitch pattern on these mitts, not to mention that they look like a very satisfying quick knit. I love any opportunity to play with colours and they look perfect for that. Brienne says of her design, something playful to tuck into your knitting bag during the light knitting season. I squeezed as much colour contrast as I could into this little accessory. The pattern uses slip stitches to create an engaging gridded design in one colour, or a striking plaid in contrasting shades. This tech edited pattern is knit in the round on DPNs. The beautiful textural stitch involves the mosaic and slip stitch knit stitches. It looks like a lot of fun can be had with colour mixing for this pattern and if you'd like inspiration, the hashtag Fogline Mitts on Instagram is well worth a look. The Farmer's Daughter's Fibre Sukopi is a single ply, light four ply weight. The colours of this US based yarn look stunning. You need a total of 117 to 137 metres or 128 to 150 yards. Each skein is 227 metres or 248 yards, so you'd only need one skein of each colour you'd want to use for the mitts. Fig Tree Yarns is the UK supplier and it would be £16.50 per skein. I'll add their link below. Or you could substitute any four ply yarn that gives you the correct tension. The mitts come in three adult sizes and the cost of the pattern is $6, which is about £4.50. 
If you love this pattern, you'll be pleased to know that there is also a matching shawl and hat in the collection. Not only that, there is also a matching jumper. Links below. Brienne suggests you can use the accessories to swatch for the jumper. Perfect. The Pyramus top is by Einor Birkin Bay of Mama's Teddy Bear. The shape of this top is really striking and unusual. It looks both relaxed and smart, with a fit that looks like it flatters most bodies. Einar says, Pyramus was born out of love for stripes, experimentation and geometry. This design, simple shaping and rhythmic pattern repeats will make for an enjoyable knitting experience and result in a versatile garment. I was immediately interested in how this piece was constructed, with that interesting triangular geometric waist shape. It's knitted flat, which is my preferred way of knitting. Einar explains, you will start at the right shoulder, then separate the front and back to create a neck opening. Then you will join the front and back to work the left shoulder. The front and back are identical in shaping. Once finished, you will seam the sides using mattress stitch and finish the neck and armholes with applied eye cord edging. I've never knit a sideways jumper before and the relaxed drop style strop shoulder style fit makes this look like an easier introduction to knitting this way. The yarn used in the pattern is the Periwinkle Sheep Summer Blend of US Merino, Cotton, Linen and Silk. It looks like it has a beautiful drape and would make a fantastic summer garment with a lovely texture. The Periwinkle Sheep website automatically gave me the UK prices, so it would be £20.42 with shipping around £14. Bear in mind the high import duties when ordering from outside the UK. I wasn't able to find a UK supplier for this yarn and would say that it's probably quite important to find a similar blend of fibres to ensure the same feel and drape if you're thinking of substituting. Pyramus comes in 10 sizes, with a hip circumference between 98 to 165 centimetres or 35 and a half to 65 inches. There are also two length options, cropped or full length. The pattern costs $8, which is about £6. This contemporary design looks like a fun challenge, especially if you're looking for a new jumper construction idea. I love that triangular detail at the waist, the stripes and the casual drop shoulder style of this jumper. Some patterns just leap off the screen, and Jessie Mae Martinson's Hello From My Colours crop is one of those patterns. I'm currently addicted to colour work and this feels like a real fresh take on the technique. That lovely wide neck and casual sleeves really make the pattern sing, and the colour choice is so vibrant. Jessie May says, Hello from a cute colour work crop in your colours. Short, easy to memorise repeats and quickly shifting motifs separated by stripes of solid stockingette make this crop a fun and fast knit, perfect for early fall. It looks like this top is knit in the round and is easily adaptable. For example, you could make the t-shirt length longer, three quarters or full length. The suggested yarns are Brooklyn Tweed Peary or Knit Picks Palette and Jessie May advises using a non-super wash roll to get the best results with a colour work. Good substitutions in the UK with plenty of colour options would be Jameson & Smith or Jameson's of Shetland or any non-super wash four ply yarn. Hello from My Colours Crop comes in sizes to fit chest measurement measurements between 71 to 152.5 centimetres or 28 to 60 inches, with instructions for how to adapt for a relaxed or tight-fitting version. Hello from My Colours is priced at $10, however Jessie May also offers financial accessibility options. If you aren't able to purchase the pattern at full price, then there is the option to subscribe and receive 25 to 50% discount codes. I love this accessibility option, meaning you can pay between £3.75 to £7.50 for your pattern depending on your needs. I think this would make a great layering piece here in Scotland, where the weather is very interchangeable year-round. The colourwork patterns look fun to knit, with plenty of change to keep things interesting and bring on that just one more row feeling. Definitely take a look at hashtag hello from my colours crop to see some fabulous colour inspiration. The Sisypho jumper is by Noma and Lavu, who is bigger than life knits on Instagram. There is such a delicate, almost gossamer look to this stranded knitting. It looks like a beautiful lacework shawl sitting on the model's shoulders in this yoke jumper. 
I love the sleeve and hip detail bringing a balance to the pattern. Noma says the name Sisypho means it's a gift. Every once in a while I design something that's a gift to myself, a special treat. This pullover started off as a lace yoke but it didn't feel right. I frogged it then spent the entire evening charting the yoke pattern. I knit the yoke in two days. I hope this pattern will be as special to you as it is to me. This is a circular yoke knitted from the top down which makes it easier to get an accurate fit. The colour work is fair owl patterns and there are short rows to raise the back neck. The sample is knitted using 4-ply merino twist sock from two South African companies, nurturing fibres for the main silver colour and Miss Lamotte for the fair owl patterning colour. You could use another 4-ply merino twist sock yarn to substitute for this I'm sure. The Sisypho jumper comes in 9 si sizes from 34 to 66 inch chest measurement and Noma recommends 5 to 10 centimetres or 2 to 6 inches of ease. The model, Noma's sister Leslie, is wearing 6 inches of ease in her jumper. The pattern costs £6.29. The hashtag Sisypho Pullover on Instagram has loads of other colour and yarn options to inspire you and is well worth a look. Noma mentions that this is her first colour work garment pattern and I can't wait to see what she produces next. The off-kilter shawl by Romy Hill of Romy Designs made me lean in for a closer look. Were these two offset shawls layered over one another? No, this is an all-in-one shawl with an eye-catching and unusual construction. I needed to know just how this had been put together immediately. As Romy explains, I've been feeling a bit off-kilter lately, haven't you? It's been quite a year, quite a couple of years. This shawl was one that I started and kept redesigning while I worked on it during the year, until, in the end, it clicked into place and I knew exactly what the yarn wanted to be. A serious and symmetrical outer triangle with a quirky bright twisty off-centre middle. Because we all have those unusual and richly textured centres. Stories and personalities that provide so much depth. This shawl is an ode to those unexpected places in our psyches. A celebration of the inner quirks that keep us going through strange and unpredictable times. So how is this constructed? For the full story, you'll need to buy the pattern, but I will say this. It involves picking up stitches and German short rows. The shawl uses fingering weight in a 70-30 merino bombix silk blend, which I imagine would give a lovely weighty drape. Romy uses Elemental Effects Civility, which is a US yarn. I couldn't find a UK supplier, but there are plenty of yarns with a similar blend and weight available here. The shawl measures 206 centimetres or 81 inches from tip to tip with a depth of 86 centimetres or 34 inches after, and I quote, severe blocking. The pattern is $7 or around £5.30. This pattern is on my to-do list once I stop knitting all the fair isle in the world. The only question is, what yarn will I use? The Bay Pullover and Bay Slipover by Jacqueline Seslag looks so cosy and comfortable. I love this casual flattering style and the patterned photos are so calming. Jacqueline says of her designs, Bay is your dream all-weather sweatshirt or slipover, whether you're getting cosy at home or being toozled by a crisp ocean breeze. These dolman sleeve tops have a chilled out stocking stitch with the shoulder and arm seams created using a three needle bind off. Jacqueline has provided six video tutorials and technical instructions to help with knitting and customising her patterns. The yarn used is a 6535 silk linen blend in worsted weight, which looks perfect for summer and beach wear with a lovely drape and sheen. The samples are knitted in Magpie Fibres Equinox, a US company. There are plenty of alternatives to substitute with on Jacqueline's pattern page where she mentions that Although linen silk is her recommended blend, the other successful fibres include cotton and 100% wool. Both patterns come with a wide range of sizing between 95 to 175 centimetres or 38 to 70 inches chest size. This includes a 15 centimetre or 6 inch ease. Jacqueline is wearing hers with an 8 inch ease at the chest. The patterns cost $9 each, which is around £6.80. In these dark, wintry short days, just looking at these tops remind me of how the lighter, warmer days to come. You can settle in with this perfect TV knitting and dream of summer, 
There are so many different versions on Instagram under the hashtag Bay Slipover and hashtag Bay Pullover that you're sure to get some great inspiration for your own bay. Atlantica by Audrey Borrego of Yarn Flakes is a stunning drop shoulder lace cable jumper. The combination of pattern and mal type yarn makes a modern little jumper with a host of new skills to learn in a relatively simple shaped garment. This is a bottom up in the round jumper to the armpits and then separated to work the front and back separately. The shoulders are joined with a three needle bind off which I love for its neatness. The sleeves are worked down from the armholes, also in the round, using a reverse stocking stitch. The yarn is two strands of lace weight held double, or you can substitute with one strand of sport weight. The samples are knit with Ice Tech Einband, an Icelandic lace weight wool that comes in an amazing range of colours. I'm discovering so many new wools doing this channel, it's great. There are UK suppliers of this affordable yarn, including Northern Yarn and Wool Warehouse, and I'll put their links below. In total, as the lace weight yarn is held double, you're looking at between 2,000 to 5,000 metres, or 2,190 to 5,470 yards. If you go with a single strand of sport weight, it would be between 1,000 to 2,500 metres, or 1,095 to 2,735 yards depending on the size knitted. There are 10 sizes for this jumper with chest measurements between 90 to 180 centimetres or 35 and a half to 70 and three quarter inches with 25 centimetres or 10 inches of positive ease. This jumper was originally published in the Pom Pom magazine number 34 and is now available individually from Audrey. It costs £7.47 on Lovecraft or on Payhip, there is a pay what you want system with a minimum price of Euro 6, which is around £5.12. The drop shoulder shaping and reverse stocking stitch sleeve really make the front and back pattern shine. This looks like the perfect knit for having both a sleeve on the go for TV knitting at the same time as a front or back panel for when you're in the mood for some more skilled knitting to concentrate on. Grammar's Medley Sweater by Tina Say Knits has a really distinctive design and you could have a lot of fun putting together a multitude of colours into this dramatic v-neck jumper. I know I'm guilty of buying one ball of each of my favourite colours at the yarn shop and then regretting that I don't have enough of any one colour for a garment. Tina says that Grammar's Medley Sweater was named for my grandma. She taught me to knit and with every stitch on anything I knit it brings back memories of her. She passed away the year I designed this sweater, March 2021. Even though she is physically gone, her essence will forever live on in this design and with every new stitch I knit. Grandma's Medley is made up of a series of stockingette, slip stitch and striping to create a patchwork look without seams, kind of like piecing back together life during and after grief. What a wonderful tribute to your granny, Tina. For the construction, this v-neck jumper is knit bottom up in the round to the armholes before separating to knit flat. The sleeves are knit in the round and look to be a set-in style. There are different sections to each part of the jumper with stripes, slip stitches and a solid stocking stitch to give you plenty of variation and ways to bring together different colours of yarn. Tina uses the Peri Periwinkle Sheep Highland Wool Fingering Weight which is a non-superwash, 100% Peruvian Highland wool. It's a US yarn, but it looks like she will ship internationally. Although it should be fairly easy to substitute a four-ply, non-superwash, 100% wool like Jameson & Smith or Jameson's of Shetland, periwinkle sheep colourways are quite distinctive and really help with the drama of Tina's design, I think. Grandma's Medley is available in 10 sizes from chest circumference 84 to 183 centimetres or 33 to 72 inches. Tina operates a pay what you choose system to help make her pattern designs financially accessible, so the cost runs between 7 to 12 dollars or between 5 pound 25 to 9 pound. I think one of the most rewarding things about this jumper would be what could be learned about colour mixing and how to harmonise and contrast throughout. Well worth knitting plenty swatches and consulting colour wheel diagrams to see how colours can come together. Between that and the fun of creating all the patches, this looks like a lovely splash of colour knitting for the winter months. 
Fur Crown Socks by Sally Jane Designs felt like the perfect example of all those autumnal woody walks crunching through leaves and kicking fur cones, coming through into a hand-knit accessory. Sally Jane says, This is the perfect sock pattern to get you into the mood for autumn and all things cosy and warm. The subtle design works really well on solid, semi-solid or self-striping yarn. It is created entirely with knits and pearls, no special stitches necessary. The socks can be knit either on DPNs or using the magic loop, whichever technique you prefer, and are knit toe up. Sally Jane samples are knit using Knit Picks Fleshy Striped or West Yorkshire Spinner Signature Four Ply. Both are a 7525 Merino Nylon Blend, and there are plenty of sub options out there. You just need 400 metres or 437 yards. Fur cone socks come in four sizes, from 18 to 27 centimetres, or 7.25 to 10.5 inches, so you're sure to find the size to fit. The pattern costs $5, which is around £3.75. The wee fur cone design is very pretty, and I think it, this would be a great way for newer knitters to branch out from plain stocking stitch socks and learn some new stitch patterns. Once established, it looks like the pattern would become intuitive, and a perfect restful knit. And that's my top 10 knits. Thank you so much for watching. All images have been used with the very kind permission of the knitting designers. I haven't been paid in any way and no designers have contacted me to be featured. This is very much just me feeling so inspired by the new designers and patterns I've found that I've wanted to share them with you. Links to patterns and designers Instagram accounts are available in the show notes below. If you like what you see, please let me know, and if there are any amazing designers you'd like to see on the channel, please get in touch. Please do share, like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time on Top 10 Knits.